Agents, welcome to the Division Two. What's going on, Agents? It's Grown Man's Game. We're back with this game. <clears throat> we here on this Division Two. Go, Uncle Phil here, giving us a demonstration. <laughs> but um, this is going to be a full part. Not series, but a full part um, discussion. Um, an overall impressions, just about the game, the Division Two, um, and my experience with the beta with certain aspects of the game. So today, on this um, part, hold on, let me turn that shit off. Turn that. Backup request denied. Hi there, Agent. Hey, what's up? Um, but yeah. This, this, today we're talking about weapon talents, brand sets, not gear sets, brand sets, and how they synergize with each other um, overall. So let's go ahead and this, you know, I got some level purples here some level purples I got some purple gear here um, and some greens and whatnot we can analyze just how the difference in I guess not the perks on the brand sets but how different attributes are stats and that sort of thing so we're gonna start with brand sets and then we'll move on to the weapons so brand sets what are brand sets brand sets are like the gear sets right but they're not gear sets. You can get them from low level, like this level green here. It's green. Yeah. And it comes with fixed stats, right? It comes with fixed bonuses. Right? As I like this this tactical four at 40 48 H backpack. The um Providence Defense backpack bonuses are skill power, health, and weapon damage. Right? I don't think I have a blue one of them. No, I don't. However, if I was to try to look for fair, I don't piece. I don't have another piece of the other ones. But yeah, they, they, they don't change the bonuses and stuff. They're always the same. Like this one has SE crit hit damage, seeker skill power. That's always the same, no matter what piece it is. Like if we go to level 30, I'll show y'all later. Level 30 is the gear set at higher same bonuses. You just get higher more stats on it. Or you might get um more okay, slots to, um, to put mods in. Oh, it's at level 30, you can get mods and whatnot. So that's the brand sets. The like mini gear sets, you know, they increase a particular build. They're supposed to be a full particular build. This one has skill power, health, weapon damage. That one has headshot, marksman rifle damage, accuracy. So that, that's kind of more tailored to a sniper build, right? Um, so yeah, so that's brand sets. So, but the question you want to ask, like, how do they work? You know, how do they work? What do, why would I want to have a brand set? If you play Division 1, and you like looter shooters, then you would know that having a in Division One, especially there was a particular set or gear set that gonna gave you attributes. It didn't really boost your individual stats and make you play a certain way, but some of them did. Like the defense in Division One, where you could have the shield, or we had the marksman rifle ones at like the hunter's fave for the century. They were tailored to specific builds. You couldn't really, you know, you don't have stats that would put you into a build. Whereas here, they made the builds more, you know, they made you can you can get your own pieces of gear sets, so that you're, you know, you're running the you're running your how you want to play. Like I like I, I like playing with skill power and, and close quarters with, with SMG or shotgun. I got here two pieces of the. Uh, of the Alpha Summit, and it gives me cooldown reduction of 10% and 5% school skill power. Obviously, there's no point in me getting a, fi a third piece because like, we don't have to have the hyper skill unlocked. But 
as you see here, I can get additional skill power. So then if I had one of them pieces with the uh, with the mask or with the same as the backpack, I could have skill power and additional health. That sort of thing. Um, so depend on on the builds, you can be rocking a lot of skill power. Damn, this is boring. You know, which is nice. A lot of skill power, maybe a high damage for sniper build. Uh, maybe a close quarters SMG build with high um, crit damage. That sort of thing. Um, so yeah. So what I wanted to show, wanted to showcase today, was more or less um, the bonuses on certain gear sets or brand sets. Um, and how they work with weapon talents because not you know you might just be playing the game you might be like not you know you might it might be new it's new to everyone brand sets and whatnot so I just wanted to showcase how they synergize with certain weapon with certain weapon weapon talents and that sort of thing so let's go let's quickly fly into it here um, so yeah if we look at I got my two pieces here right. They give me critical hit chance as an attribute, like this area. but I also get as it's a blue, I get an additional talent. You know, it's it's a talent. It's destructive. Yeah, adds me twenty percent explosive damage. So if I chuck a grenade, it's gonna do more damage. Um, if I use C command, it does more damage. That's so anything that explodes does more damage. And these attributes change. Right? So if I was to look at a purple piece here, this one's got two attributes now, which gives me critical hit chance, cooldown reduction of 5%, and then 20% armor regeneration. So all of these, when we go to level 30, we'll have a look, and you'll see how much different and how many more, um, you know, talents are on our gear. Right, so let's just quickly have a look at um, the purples and their guns. So if we look at the guns, right? We scroll down here to this police M4. It's asking us as a requirement. We have our active talent, which is at the top, which will always be active. You know, 15% weapon handling. But then we have an additional talent, which we actually have to do something to initiate we have to have um five of the shields which is usually like health or armor that sort of thing Come on. We should get, we should get and then when we the talent is preservation can the enemy repairs five percent of armor over three seconds headshot kills improve repair so this could be really good if you if you're doing a run and gun build you know you you're, you're making yourself a lot tanky so you're up in the front lines um and you'll, you'll get headshots, you're getting kills, your armor is coming back as you're getting them kills. You know? Or well, if we go down to a uh, the SMG here, as you see here, we need five. Five or more um, of the, like, it's more or less damage talents um, that can increase the damage and stuff. Um, so, killing an enemy with a critical hit grants 50%. Critical hit chance for five seconds, so that could be good if you're running and gunning. You got high, you got a lot of crit, crit damage, crit chance, and you're like using the SMG, and you're up close. You're getting that critical. You're getting you're killing someone with a crit. It gives you that fifty percent crit chance for five seconds after you've got that kill. That could be the make or break if you're getting um like every other bullet's a crit. You know, if you mow one down, next dude you've mowed down. But if we look at the LMG here, why is, it my, why is my screen going black? I don't know why I did that. I feel like somebody walked by me. But, um, yeah, if we have a look at the LMG here, we got the classic M60 spike. We need five or more of that, the utility bonuses, like optimal range, you know, accuracy. As you see there, it's more or less utility uh, bonuses. Getting a headshot going twenty five percent to skill damage. So that's like, you know, that could be good if, if for my build. You know, I'm rocking around with a lot of skill power, and I, I get I get a headshot, 
when I get a headshot, I get 25% more uh, damage to my skill for 10 seconds. Or other talents we see here on this M249B, right? Letting a shot adds a stack of bonus 2% weapon handling, max of 15. At max stats, each shot landed has a 5% chance you consume weapon handling bonus and refill the magazine. So if I'm out here shooting uh, NPCs and it gets a 15, obviously this magazine has like 80, 85 rounds in it. You know, we're going through, we're getting 15 stacks, we're killing all the enemies. Even if I don't kill them, it refills the mag, it consumes it and refills the mag. I'll have some gameplay, um, gameplay to show you uh, of it active. For for, for example, see, we even got double barrel shotgun here, killing any repairs um, armor over time. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and um, quickly have a look at the level thirties and see how they differ from these uh, purples and blues. All right. So see you over in a second. All right, so if we have a look at um, level 30, this is the sharpshooter specialization that you can uh, try in the bed. So if we have a look at a weapon, for example, this sniper. This sniper has killing an enemy, or just in general, look how many talents it's got. And like, I'm seeing multiple black tusk units around the site. I don't want to hear that. All right, there we go. So we have a look at the sniper. You see it's got three talents. The first one is an active talent that we have to actively do something to get a bonus. Yeah. The second one is like an all, it's like an always on, doesn't matter, it's always there. Then the first one is like a, a stowed one, like when it's unequipped um, or when it's equipped, right? So while this while equipped to this weapon increases throwing distance by 10 percent you know so if we look at the sniper when killing an enemy with a critical hit chance hit critical hit grunt 50 percent critical hit chance for five seconds just like we saw in the other um character there the level seven but you see i have the uh the, I have the bonuses or, or the attributes to give me uh that that set that talent active for example here it is assault rifle this one's an active one top of the half of the magazine has 50 percent rate of fire 20 minus 20 percent weapon damage the bottom half uh when the magazine has 25 percent rate of fire less rate of fire but has a 20 percent weapon damage and then we've got always active talent which is a uh, accurate and then while equipped with this weapon increases throwing distance uh, yet again. We see here critical hits on this uh, PP19. Critical hits at a stack of 3% reload speed bonus, max of 20. Obviously, like the original PP19 um, had that high reload speed when you got crits. Or, see, as you see in the hosted one, the hosted slot. While holster reloading your primary weapon reloads this weapon. So that can be even good depending on what build you're using, you know. So it's it's given a lot of uh, utilities or just and, and different talents. You know, we got a whole bunch of different talents here. Even one here break bread basket, landing body shots at the stack of bonus of five percent headshot damage. And that's for a shotgun. Imagine on a sniper. Like a, a fast firing um, DMR or rifle, as they got them in the category. Like if it was on one of these, that could that talent there could be really good. But um, yes, yeah, so I what I want to show as well was um, branches. You know, we got we got the the where where which gives create damage, drone skill power, create chance. That's the bonus. But we need three pieces of that, right? But as you see here, you see we had the same piece on the other build, the 
Alpha Summit glove and that main grand brand set attribute do not change. You know the ten percent cool reduction and skill power do not change matter doesn't change whether it's a high end or not. The only difference is is that the high ends get their own attributes, right? You can either get three, four attributes and a talent on it. Yeah. Like that, like this one has four talents, five, four talents, right? As you see here. And it's also got one talent, uh, four attributes, one talent hardened plus 10% armor, right? But if we go here to another um, chess piece, this Alpha Summit one, you see this one has two attributes and they uh, and the talent, but then it also has one, two, three slots, three uh, slots to put mods in. So that is one way how the difference between that chess piece having no slots or one slot for a mod to this one to having three slots and three attributes or two attributes. That one has that one has three slots and two attributes and a talent. So depending on you know the gear set, depending on what um mods and what talent you get. Like this one here, the uh the Ariadne Holdings. This is one's more for the marksman which we had in the other build. Right? It's a marksman focused gear set. And this what this one this one here, this purple, has two talents. Damage to elite and explosive damage. This one's a, a fair Fenris Group A B. And this one's focused on assault rifle, protection to leaks, health on kill. More of a PVE centric build. So these these builds and weapons um depend on your build and what you want to do with it, it can synergize really well. If we're getting if I'm a um skill power build, see I got the two skill powers here, I could probably get another where and where um gear set piece to increase that drone skill power right so then I wouldn't need that mark I'll just keep them two pieces there and let's get another piece here then increase that uh drone skill power because I already got the twenty percent skill duration so that means my skills are lasting way longer than anyone else's um which is which which is pretty cool. But you see even here you see this one this skill here has um on the gloves. It has a talent saying shoot an enemy in the leg has a ten percent chance to apply bead. But there is a weapon here, I'm not sure if I have it on me. I don't think I do have it on me. But there was a Weapon talent, I think it was on the normal one, on the normal character. But it was like, when someone's blue, that do more damage. So that could be good as well. In, you know, having a particular talent on your gloves or your legs or your whatever piece. You know, improves your, your actual weapon just by talent synergies. And that's what I want to um, like talk about, really. How how can I said talent on your gloves improve your weapon's uh, damage basically? Not outright, but improves it in independent on what you're doing. Like even on just sniper, it says requires an eight times skill with magnification or higher, right? So if I put a twelve times on, that should work, right? It says or higher, but then the the, the talent is. Headshot damage is increased by 50% while your armor is depleted. So if I have no armor and I shoot somebody, but you see, it's only active when my ar when my armor is depleted. So if I can go demonstrate actually, um, 
So even like this sniper, it requires an 8 times scope or higher, but first shot fired from a full magazine has increased body shot damage. You see? So these weapons and their talents require you to have a specific, um, you know, type of be specific build that you're running. You know, if you're running a sniper build, you rock a zoom scope. Yeah, you, your first shot is it has increased body shot damage, or your or your uh, or your shot when depleted when your armor depleted is increased by fifty percent. If you could be in your last, you know, you could just armor could go. And it could be a 1v1 fight with an um, agent, and you could snipe, literally snipe him near to death. But it's all situational. You have to do something to activate these talents. You, you're putting yourself in a high, it's basically a high risk, high reward. Um, engagement that, 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 that sort of play style is represented. But that's what I wanted to show today. Um, I think I've spoken enough about the uh, record another one. So do check uh, my playlist, my Div Division Two playlist. Just about next, we're gonna be talking about PVP, Dark Zone, and then another video of Endgame um, and PVE. So with that being said, I'll check y'all on the next one. It's Real Man's Gaming. I'm out. See agents.